OK? OK. Uh, so welcome, everybody. Um, so this session is about uh, what we have done for the interop challenge uh, sub-team. Uh, so uh, Helen, uh, Helen Yao is actually the engineer that performed all the testing. But due to visa issue, uh, unfortunately, uh, she cannot be here. But she will uh, give a similar talk uh, in the upcoming OPMV summit in Beijing. Uh, in June, I think uh, around middle of June. So, if you are interested in the uh, specific details, uh, please you know book your airplane ticket and come to Beijing, come to OPM Summit. And I also put uh, Daniel uh, together since Daniel reviewed our patch uh, and helped a lot. Okay, but it will be just me giving this talk. Okay. Oh. OK, so uh, first of all, I will give an a introduction or a definition on the MV workload, because uh, what we uh, found is that people are confused uh, about the MV workload. And Jesus. So first of all, what is an FV? So for those of you who have the telco background, this is, you know, goes without saying. But uh, as I, uh, as my experience with uh, the general uh, open sec developers, uh, the telco, uh, the telco uh, stuff just really confusing them. So all these uh, three letter or four letter acronyms, you know, so. Uh, I pull up just a definition from the Wikipedia. So NFV is just network uh, function virtualization. Uh, think of it just um, try to uh, virtualize those functions that used to be uh, only provided by the vendor uh, device. So for NFV, you, uh, you'll be able to run these uh, virtualized uh, network functions, such as virtualize uh, load balancers, firewalls, uh, what have you on a uh, pods hardware, hopefully. And this is a, a architecture uh, standardized in uh, SE, so I won't go into details, but like you see, there's uh, infrastructure, which is basically on the right hand side is OpenSAC, and on the left hand side is all the virtual. Uh, uh, all the virtualization techniques you could get, like KVM, uh, Ceph, and all that stuff, and hardwares, right? Servers, storage, network. And uh, above is the orchestration layer. So I will go to that. Oh. Yeah. So what is the AMV workload? Uh, for Interop Challenge, we have tested uh, several workloads, right? So uh, in Barcelona, there's LAMP stack and Docker Swarm. And uh, for Boston, there's uh, Kubernetes plus uh, uh, Cockroach DB, uh, which you have already seen in the keynote, and AMV. Uh, but uh, like for, for people who are not familiar with uh, telco technologies, uh, it will be a little bit confusing, like what actually we run for MV workload. So, uh, in a basic and very limited sense, uh, actually for MV workload, we refer to uh, the orchestration part, as you could see on the right hand side, uh, these two blocks, uh, plus the VNFs, the virtual network functions, uh, like I mentioned, uh, virtual uh, firewalls and uh, load balancers and all this stuff. And uh, what is interop, right? Uh, actually, there has been a lot of interop uh, activities, uh, not only in OpenSAC, but also in OBMV, uh, which is a, a, a open source uh, integration platform um, for the NFV implementation. So within the uh, OPMV community, we have this set of uh, great testing projects. Uh, that provide like performance testing or uh, functional testing in all these areas. 
but uh, the dovetail project, uh, which I highlighted, is the most uh, related to the interop uh, efforts because we, uh, with dovetail, we are trying to define a set of tests uh, that might uh, help uh, people to identify the interoperability uh, of the OpenLA platform. And uh, we have a uh, ongoing efforts called CVP, Certificate Certification and uh, Verification Program. And uh, also with these efforts, we are trying to uh, establish a, a, a certain criteria for the interoperability in OpenLV. Now back uh, to OpenStack, uh, we have an interop working group. Uh, I think many of you are familiar with this uh, working group. So the famous DevCore guideline uh, are uh, uh, drafted and discussed uh, by the interop working group. So this slide actually I borrowed from uh, a talk uh, also provided by OpenIV team during the uh, ONS summit uh, this year. So we have the internal working group working on the uh, DevCore guidelines. And uh, so starting uh, this year, I think, uh, we are start to discuss the possibility of have a vertical use case or vertical scenarios uh, for DevCore. So AMV is, I think, one of the top on the list that we might try uh, to have a specific scenario for DevCore. And uh, here we go with the interop challenge. So interop challenge is sort of, sort of like a subgroup uh, within the interop working group. Uh, so this effort started back in uh, Barcelona, uh, test the uh, LAMPstack and Docker Swarm. So as you could see from the uh, picture of the repo, well, it's a little bit blur, but uh, most of all, we, we will like uh, write Ansible scripts that help deploy these workloads on different uh, OpenStack platforms. So uh, what is the NFV workload again, right? Um, so these three parts, that's uh, where we try to find a, 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 a suitable like open source project for that so that we could test a uh, open source MV workload. So uh, for VNF, we use Clearwater uh, Virtual IMS. Uh, IMS stands for uh, IP Multimedia uh, Subsystem. It was a uh, very hard word, I think, t uh, about 10 or uh, 12 years ago. Uh, IMS is basically a network function that will give you the uh, multimedia experience, for example, uh, VOIP or uh, video conferencing, video chatting, okay? So this is a uh, open source uh, version of uh, virtual MS. And for the orchestration, uh, we select uh, OpenO. OpenO was a uh, open source uh, project uh, within the Linux Foundation last year. And this year it merged with uh, OpenEcom from at and to form the ONAP community. So OpenO will serve as the uh, NFVO, which basically think of it as a uh, orchestrator uh, type of thing. And the last piece uh, in the puzzle is VNFM. So for OpenO, Juju uh, is the uh, default VNFM uh, at the moment. So uh, if you are not familiar with Juju, please go to the Ubuntu booth and make a confession. Okay, now we have complete the, the, uh, the map here. So we have OpenO for the orchestrator, Juju for the VNF manager. Uh, we think of it like a, a heat, uh, uh, super set of heat. And then we have uh, Clearwater Virtual IMS, which we have, think of VNF as just instance, right? So now this is our stuff that we are gonna deploy it uh, on OpenStack platform. So I think from this, you could see it has bared a uh, familiarity with the Kubernetes workload we are running, right? So Kubernetes itself will resemble OpenO plus Juju, and virtual MS is actually the uh, cockroach 
DB that you saw in the keynote. So there are some requirements. Uh, that's where the, you know, uh, the beauty or the characteristic of NFV kicks in. So we have a uh, uh, certain requirement uh, on the hardware uh, to at least uh, be able to run these instances. And uh, the test pipeline is like this. So uh, you, for, uh, first of all, you configure the OpenStack, uh, increase the quota, and uh, create a dedicated security group uh, for workload, and add security rules to allow uh, ICMP, TCP, and all those stuff. And then you deploy OpenO. So OpenO itself uh, consists of uh, more than 20 containers. And then deploy Juju, uh, Juju client, and uh, I think there's another component. And then the OpenO plus Juju will deploy the uh, virtual IMS uh, on the OpenStack uh, platform for you. And then we test whether the virtual IMS actually works. So uh, as you see from the whole uh, test pipeline, uh, we have borrowed uh, the deployment uh, scripts from the OpenMV Opera project, which basically provide this integration of OpenO and hopefully later on ONAP. And then we borrow the test scripts uh, from OpenMV Funk Test. Uh, but currently, those two are separated. So one of the job Helen done uh, for the interrupt challenge on MV workload is actually to write a Ansible script that could automate all uh, all, all these things together without you have to, you know, uh, run this part first, run this part later. And yeah, so actually, with regard to interop, it's actually the step four. We'll test the interoperability of whether your OpenStack platform could uh, uh, spawn up a uh, instance and actually run these network functions. And step, uh, Five is actually testing the if your instance that functioning properly. Okay, uh, here's some of our uh, test reports. So there are some screenshots. I will show a uh, demo that we recorded. So uh, this you could see the logs that when you like install OpenO, pull uh, those images and so forth. So overall, uh, we test on two uh, OpenStack vanilla build, uh, Mitaka and Newton, and using two version of uh, OpenMV installers. So Compass is like uh, fuel, right? Uh, so the test result is pass. So uh, the result shows that with this specific sample uh, VNF workload that we could deploy on different version of OpenStack without any uh, significant interop uh, problems. And I think this is pretty important, uh, especially for the telco operators, because many of them have like different version of OpenStack deployed, and the capability uh, for the workload to be able to talk to different version of platforms without problem uh, is pretty important for them. Okay, um, so the the. Uh, our test script was merged rather late, I think uh, early last week. So uh, I myself, I pushed uh, Huawei's Fusion Sphere team to run the testing. Uh, so the feedback is that uh, the test passed uh, on Fusion Sphere 6, 6 6.1. Uh, but I, I don't have like details now. I will uh, push the team to run a uh, ref stack, hopefully to see a more uh, community uh, ruled uh, Results and we also need like more uh, vendors to help test uh, if the workload okay or if not what are the problems what are the gaps okay uh, so some lesson uh, learned here uh, it's important to use a snapshot uh, so the uh, installation and configuration of Juju and OpenO is very time consuming and. Uh, uh, some lessons about uh, running Docker and uh, the host mapping. And then, yeah, I think that's it. 
So, uh, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's okay. So here are some references. And here I will show the, actually show the demo video. So I uploaded uh, on, on, on YouTube. So hopefully you could see the, yeah. This is what happened when you run the Ansible scripts that uh, we write for testing, okay? Um, so I, I, I think it uh, varies uh, upon how you like actually deploy, but uh, for Helen, uh, we, uh, we created like uh, nine uh, virtual machines so seven virtual machines will run the topology of the uh, virtual MS, and two will run the Juju uh, component. And there's another one that running all these open all containers. So that virtual machine you could deploy on the same platform uh, of all the other workloads, and you could also deploy it on a uh, separate uh, instance, okay? Uh, so I think I could fast forward a little bit to show. Uh... Oh, with BIMS Clearwater, I'm using the SIP client, JITSI. Um, here is the number of my friend, Jin. Let me make him a call. So the call is through the virtual MS instance we, we just Three. deployed. Hello, this is Jim speaking. Who's that? Hi, Jim. This is Helen. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I'm good. Why did you call me for such a long time? Well, you know, I'm not sure what you want to do. I'm not sure what you want to do. I'm not sure So. So this is our demo. Uh, you could search it on uh, on YouTube. Okay. So some future thoughts. So for interrupt challenge, we actually required a participant to run uh, to customize uh, RefSec and run a RefSec, well, basically tempest test to show the results. So this will be one of our future work. The other one is to try uh, more uh, workload types. So for this, uh, cert, uh, for, 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 for uh, our uh, workload, uh, we select OpenO plus Juju plus virtual, uh, clear water virtual MS. You could try all the other kinds of combinations. So. And uh, we try to get more uh, OPNV test cases utilized by the uh, OpenSec interop workload. And I, I, I think uh, one of the things that we've done uh, pretty good is to bring all the test cases that OPMV community already done and we uh, like uh, compose it or reform it to be able to uh, use by OpenSec, okay? So thank you very much and uh, without further ado for our lunch time, okay? Questions or? Okay, thank you.